What is up everybody? Mark here. Today I'm going to do a really short video showing you how to adjust a slot and a tab on Inkscape. So I've got one of my designs open here and I'm going to show you how to change these two slot sizes right here in the base. It is really, really easy. So the first thing you do is just simply click on this entire shape and in most cases you're going to have to do what's called break apart to get to these individual slots here. So I've selected this piece. You're going to go up to Path and Break Apart. And then it does this thing. I don't really know why it does it, but it changes the uh, stroke and fill color, which I'm not sure why it does that. But if you just leave it like this and go over here to the Fill and Stroke panel, on the Fill, I'm going to click the X to turn off the fill. And then on the Stroke, I'm going to click here and then just click this first box right here. And then it's going to just, it's going to auto assign, I think, the last color I had on there, but the color doesn't really matter in this case. And now, if you just click away from that, you can now click on each one of the slots or the rectangles here individually. So now when you select this, this rectangle here, if you go up to the top, you're going to see these X and Y coordinates and then the width and the height here that are now available to adjust. And right here, it shows inches. It may be in millimeters. It may be in pixels. So change that to whatever it is you want to work in. In my case, I'm going to do in inches, so it's already there. And then I'm going to change this to, say, 0.2 for that, or whatever size you need, and leave the width alone. All right? And then you just simply go down here to the other one. Do that again. 0.2. Oops. Actually, that was not right. Let's try 0.2. And now I've got 0.2 on both of those. Then there's one other thing that you might want to do depending on what your design is like. In this case, this has a tab right at the bottom that goes into this slot right here, and it's a double layered base. So this tab is twice the uh, length as the thickness that I used for this particular design, if that makes sense. But let's say that you want to use eighth inch material, which means that you're going to need something like 0.25 as the total length here. There's probably other ways to do this, but this is how I do it. I just grab the uh, rec the rectangle tool over here, and I just drag out a rectangle. doesn't even matter the size right now. And then I go back up here to uh, the, the arrow uh, tool here. can't remember what that's called. And then now that that's selected, I go up here to the height, and I type in point, uh, 0 0.25. And now this rectangle is the height that I need this tab to be. So now I can just select this, and drag it over here as kind of a, uh, a guide for myself. And I want to zoom in here a little bit. And now I've got it lined up right here with the top. So what I'm going to do is go to the uh, this nodes tool. And I'm going to select this corner right here. Right there. And then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select this corner also. And now I can pull these both up together until it lines up with that rectangle. So now I know that that tab is the length that I need based on the base that I am making. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know and I'd love to see what you guys make. Have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.